Hello, welcome back guys. Uh, we are at the back nine of the beautiful Serapong course. Today I'm going to share with you my focus of the game. Uh, where do I actually look at and what am I actually focusing on? So I will signify this with a red arrow. The back nine on this course is actually a tough one because you don't really have much uh, room for error. Uh, most of the holes, uh, one side is flanked with water and the other side is flanked with um, the bunker or maybe even hazards. So let's begin. As you notice, uh, the music is uh, slightly different than before. This actually signifies or shows the mood or the feeling that I'm in on this back nine. Uh, I was calm, composed and staying in rhythm the entire round. Hole 11 is a par 4 at 377 meters. Uh, there are two tractors in the middle, so I'm aiming for the one on the left side. The only room for error on this hole is on the left side of this uh, ferry. You never want to be on the right side. Now the pin is in the front. It's actually about 6 meters from the bunker. But uh, with 111 meters, it's a good distance from my approach wedge. So I'm definitely attacking this pin. You will notice later on in the other holes that uh, not all pin positions are actually favorable for my draw shots. So I will be aiming away from them. Hole 12 is a par 5 at 451 meters. Uh, normally it's played as a par 4 in the Singapore Open. But today I'll take it as a par 5 as I want to ensure a higher chance for me to get a birdie and get myself back to even par. The pin is on the left side at 225 meters. I'm playing away from the pin to the right side so I leave myself uh, more green to work with so I can get it close enough for a birdie. I would say fortunately the ball landed in the bunker. Uh, the bunker is one of my favorite places to miss at. The pin is at the bottom of the hill, so I've got a sand wedge and I'm going to do the chunk and run, take a bit more sand so the ball will not have uh, too much spin and it will release towards the hole. Hole 13. I think hole 13 and hole 15 would be probably the most difficult par 4s on this back 9 and you need lots of focus. So my starting point and my main focus point will be the center of this fairway where this tree is. And all I need is only a 3 wood to get it down the fairway as my utmost priority would be to keep it in play. With the second shot of about 171 meters left, the pin is tucked right. This is not a pin where I can attack. So I'm going to play for the fat side of the green. The middle or the left side of the green would be ideal for my 5 iron. And two parts from here to get a par would be perfect. Hole 14 is uh, probably the most difficult par 3 on this course. Fortunately today the pin is in front, it's the red pin. So I do not have to negotiate over the bunkers on the left. With a far iron, I'm aiming straight directly towards the pin.
Hole 15 is an another par 4 with a super narrow fairway. You can get punished badly if you miss either side of the fairway. So with the driver, my main focus is right in the middle of this fairway and hit a low draw. The pin on this hole is uh, tucked back left behind the bunkers. So this is a pin where I'm not really sure of what to do. So what I'm going to do here is instead of going directly at the pin, I'm going to aim for the bunker at the back and land the ball just in the middle of the green. I would say today would be a really good ball striking day. I've hit my shots pretty well. But as for my parts, they've been, uh, I would say, not really good. So I think this is one main area that I need to work on. If you have a putting coach to recommend me, please send his contact to me. Thank you very much. Hole 16, 377 meters. My focus point would be on the bunker on the right side. But this hole, I sort of hesitated as I wasn't really sure if the driver uh, would actually carry the bunker. And now I'm left in this uh, awkward situation. The pin is on the left side and the idea was to hook it around this tree. Yes, I don't think I have a shot for this at all. So this came out badly. So now I'm left with uh, 84 meters to the pin. I have to salvage my par. So I'm going for the pin and hopefully get myself close enough to get a par putt. Hole 17, par 3, pin is in front at 151 meters. Uh, it's a good distance for my 7 iron. I hope to get this close enough and get a birdie to go one under. Finally, we are at the last hole of this course. We are even par now. So we have two options, one to play safe and get a par and live with an even par, or be aggressive, aim right down the center of this ferry and go for two on. To carry the front bunker of this green is about 205 meters. I can carry the bunker with a three wood. So I'm going for the green and hopefully close enough for an eagle putt, if not at worst, a birdie putt. Thank you for watching and I appreciate uh, all the viewers and the subscribers. If you like this video, please share with your friends and I'll see you in the next course. Bye-bye.